Now we are going to discuss uh, remaining other topics and then what are the some I think few people are asked some questions. So we'll discuss those questions also. Okay. So in the DDL we discuss the create, alter, truncate, drop and rename. These five we discussed in the previous class. Right. The DDL commands we discuss the create, alter, rename, truncate and drop. Okay. And the DML command we discuss the insert. Insert only we discuss. I think we didn't discuss the update and delete, right? Okay. So we'll discuss the uh, update and delete now. Okay. If you want to update any columns, any particular column data, you want to update. So we are going to use for the update command. See what are the data is there here. Is the font font is fine, guys. This font. Okay. We'll see. Yeah. So I want to update my contact number. Okay. I want to update here. It's showing the null value. So I want to update my contact number. For one zero two. Okay. But you can see, guys, here we have the one zero two two one zero two are there. Whether two one zero two are the same value, okay? Same value is there one zero two two is there. So we update the one zero two, for example. What is the syntax update? Update yeah. table name. Update table name. Set set contact mm, name. Contact 45. So I given set contact equal to 1356. I given. So if you execute this one, what happen means? So what are the records? Are, yeah, yeah. One second. So what are the records are there here? Okay. So for example, here one lakh records or two lakh records. So all the records is going to update here based on this syntax. For example, I'm going to do here. See, how many rows updated here? Six rows updated. What you can see here, see R R B one two four five six. But I want to update only one zero two record. I want to update only one zero two record. But now it's happen based on this syntax, it will update the entire table. So we have to be careful at the real time. So we have the huge amount of data is available in the in the real time test environment. Okay, when if you you want to do any modifications. You have to be careful. Okay, I am going to do rollback. See, I got the back to here. Okay, so you have to use the where class, where, from which, and which record you are going to update. So, for example, I am going to give employee number, number equal to one zero two. Okay. Employee number equal to one zero two, but here the two records are there, so we need to find the uniqueness. But there is no unique records here. Okay, and what is the uniqueness here? The contact is null. Okay, the contact is null value, and I am going to give contact is null. So now it is going to update only this particular record only is going to update. Clear? I'm going to update this particular record only. You see, see only one row updated. See guys, one zero two series, two three four five six. This one. So like that, you have to give proper condition. The set is the where you are going to update. Okay, in the where class, from which record, which records you want to update, rows you want to update, that condition you have to give in the where class. Based on that, you can able to update your list. How many records you want? So, if you want more than one record, you have to update here. And then salary. I'm going to increase salary equal to three thousand. I'm going to increase salary equal to three thousand. So, just I'm going to do the rollback here. Can do. See, 
So here the null is there, 2000 is there. I am going to update these two records. See, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, salary is 3000. So n number of whatever the records you want to update, you can update by using the these things. So just you have to give the comma and then all the column names you have to update. Clear guys, this is the update command. Okay, if you do the commit, it's going to save the data into database. Okay, now come to the delete command. So, already we discussed the truncate and drop. So, truncate is nothing but the all the data, whatever the data is available in the table, all the data is going to remove from the table. Okay, one shot is going to remove one shot. We can't apply the where class in the truncate. And also we can't roll back the data because of the truncate is a DDL command, it's auto commit. Okay. Truncate is a DDL command and it's a auto commit. So we can't be able to roll back the data. Okay. Next, even drop also. Drop along with the data, even structure also we are going to remove from the database. After executing the drop, we can't be able to find the, the table. Okay, this also auto commit, you can't roll back the data once execution the transaction. But come to the come to the delete command. So delete is a DML command. Delete is a DM, DML command. If you want, you can delete entire table data also. If you want, you can delete entire table data or few records. Whatever the record you want to delete, you can able to delete for few records. Okay can able to delete the few records. So, here it will the delete command is going to execute the backend will be row by row. The functionality is going to execute the row by row. So, it will check the each row is going to check. For example, see here is there 6 records are there. Sorry. 6 records are there. So, it is going to check the each row by row whatever the condition we are given that condition is met or not it is going to check the execution will be row by row execution the back end so that is the reason so they will ask the which is the faster either truncate or delete truncate it won't check any conditions because it won't it won't allow the conditions it is going to remove entire table data so that is the reason truncate is faster than delete for example i am going to delete from batch 909 batch 09 delete from batch 09 okay if i give this command okay so it will delete the entire table data see see all six records are deleted okay now you can see See, there is no data is available here. Okay. This time I am going to roll back. All records. So, that is the reason. If we do the truncate also, it is going to remove all the data. But we can't roll back there. Here you can able to roll back. Okay. Next, if you want to delete particular records, you can able to use the where class. Where, for example, I want to delete this, this record. So, 102 record I am going to delete. Okay, but not two records. I am going to I want to delete only one record. Okay. Now EMP number equal to 102. I am going to give. What happened, guys? Now if I give this one, if I execute this one, see two re, two rows are deleted. Two rows are deleted. Okay, but I don't want the two rows. I want only one row, single record I want to delete. Then you have to give the condition, unique condition. Is there any unique and. condition here? Yeah, and we have to use the and. We have to use the unique condition. Okay. Or either contact number or salary. Salary equal to 2000 I am going to give. One record deleted. See, there is no duplicate record now. So, like that, we can able to use the delete 
you can use the where class if you want you can delete the particular records by while using the delete command okay but in the drop and truncate we can't able to use the where class okay so we can able to roll back the data after executing the delete before the commit we can able to roll back the changes undo the changes because of this is a dml command it's not auto commit clear guys now we are going to discuss some the ddl commands so ddl will be alter command so last time i i said in the ddl alter we can able to modify so last time we have seen without any data we did the modification on the data type and sizes okay now you can see we now we have the data sufficient data is there in the table now we will do the modifications is happening or not describe batch 09 okay describe descr describe also you can write guys this also it will work so this is our structure employee number employee name contact salary okay this is my data if you want you can pin this one it will be there it will stay here only it won't go this one okay now i want to decrease my column length what is my column length here 10 is there my column length is a 10 what is the maximum here srinivas sri ni vas total 8 characters are there so i am going to down decrease six characters i want to decrease my data type my size so i am going to do the alter command we'll see what happen alter what is the syntax guys alter command alter modify can anyone tell the table name table alter table yes table name okay alter table table name modify modify okay call uh, column name okay bold column data type column name new data type no not uh, oh, okay, okay. size okay this is the modification <coughs> column name and data type and then what are the changes you want the changes you have to give here now what happen see guys what happen cannot decrease the column length because some values is too big <coughs> some values is too big whether the already we occupied some data all out of 10 characters already eight characters for this one is already occupied so we can't able to decrease beyond that if you want eight we'll see what happen eight so eight is altered up to eight altered because the max length will be eight characters here max length will be eight characters okay eight is occupied but six we have give the six it want it's not accepted because of the already the value length will be column length because of some values is too big okay now i want to do the changes in the data type okay if you want to increase guys if you want in, for example i'm going to increase the 15 16 automatically it, it will be increase okay but it won't decrease but the <coughs> length is there up to that length only it's going to decrease okay now i want to change the number format <laughs> alter table table name modify employee name earlier will be worker 2 is there now i'm going to change the name okay see column to be modified must be empty to change the data type so always your column should be empty then only you can able to modify the data so at least one record is available then you can't do the modification data type change you can't able to do okay whenever you want to do the data type this that particular column should be in empty no zero records <coughs> okay that particular column will be zero records then only you can able to do the modification data type modification earlier we did in that time there is no data that is the reason it's accepted we can able to modified 
okay now it's not uh, possible because of the already some values are there already some values are present in my table clear guys that is the difference modification alter modify if your data is available without data with the data <coughs> it is a changes 